Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd start another little carving series for you today. Now just here I have the last piece of that really nice sycamore um, that I was very kindly gifted by a friend of mine. Obviously we made a sycamore long bowl um, a short while ago which I was really really pleased with and I thought you know I wanted to use this last piece of wood and actually make something really nice with it rather than just leaving it on the wood pile to season and, and not getting around to actually using it. Um, so what I thought I would make are, was a couple of cooksers. Um, now you've seen me make them before, but I thought actually this is big enough to get at least two, possibly three, um, but I'm going to go on the safe side and do two. Um, that leaves me plenty of waste wood to put in a couple of little holes on the end um, to screw it down to the workbench and keep it nice and secure, etc, etc. Um, so what I've done, I've just very roughly smoothed down the front. Um, it's not 100% even by any means, um, but it's certainly close enough for what I need it for. Um, and the next step of preparing it is to smooth down an area on the back here so that it will sit nice and flat on the workbench, not rock around like it's doing now. Um, so what I'll do, let me just move the camera a little bit closer in. We'll, uh, we'll do a quick bit of work with the axe to get this smoothed off. I may move over to, um, I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, oh yeah, you can. Um, I might move over to my push knife as well, just to smooth things off a little bit more. Um, and then we'll make a start on the marking out. Right then guys, so all we want to do is just smooth off an area on the back of this um, half log. Um, we want to take away as little material as possible because obviously this isn't massively thick, I mean it's fine for cooksers, but the more material we uh, take away from here, the shallower the cooks are going to need to be when we start putting the bowl in. Um, so what I want to do is just start with the axe to break up the fibres along here. And doing that really does help when you're then bringing the axe down to start removing material. Now it does kind of bow out in the centre here a little bit. Um, that's fine, all I need to do is kind of just carve that bit and make sure it's flush. Um, and what I'll do, I think I'll skip through some of this footage for you, um, but I'll give you a quick sort of visual of, of what it is I'm trying to do. Right then guys, so that has now got a relatively stable base. It's not perfect by any means. Um, hopefully you can see there, you know, it's not completely flat, but actually that's fine. And I don't think I'm even gonna worry about getting the push knife out um, because it's flat enough to give me some stability. I can, I can always rework this later on. Um, so what I'll do, let me just move the camera around uh, yet again um, and we'll start marking out our cooks bowls. Right then guys, so as you can see I have my favourite cookser template here, my lovely tin of all day breakfast, uh, which as you can hopefully see there if that picks up, this actually expired in November 2015, um, so it's now only my cookser template, and really all I'm going to do is lay this out vaguely where I want the bowls to sit, um, and then just draw around it. I mean, that's the that's the brilliance of using a template for carving. You know, you can make something yourself. Um, you know, you can cut out a piece of card or plastic or something to use again and again. Or if you find something that's sort of roughly the right shape, or, or in this case, sort of ideal for things like cooksers, um, you can just repurpose something. So you know, if you're if you're making a spoon um, for sort of cooking with, and you have a favourite cooking spoon in your kitchen, just use it as a template, it's absolutely ideal. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in between these two cooksers just to give me some, uh, some room to work with, but I'm not going to make too big of a gap in there because it just means there's more material I need to carve away later on. So essentially these are going to be my two cooksers, they're only very small, um, I'm thinking of giving these as some gifts that I'm not going to mention to who yet um, because if they watch this video then it'll ruin the surprise. Um, and essentially I mean, the handles are going to come somewhere out here, um, going to be a single handled cookser, 
not quite sure where I'm going to put them yet. Um, but now that those bowls are in and I know where my work area is, I'm just going to grab my electric drill because I'm feeling lazy and I'm just going to put a couple of holes into the very end of this piece of wood. Now if I just remove this bark, yeah, that's fine, that's come out, and I'll do one on the other side. Get rid of some of that swarf. So now I've got two holes, uh, where are we, one just down here and one just up here and what that will do is let me drop a couple of screws in, I'm not sure whether these are going to be long enough, let's have a look, let me swap that over while I'm on the camera just very quickly, but essentially what this will allow me to do is lock this in place into my workbench. I'll just pop the other one in as well. Ah, right, we have a problem. So what I may need to do, guys, is just countersink these, um, which is not a problem, it's easily done. Um, and that way I don't have to remove any more material down here. I could have come in at an angle, but actually if I countersink them, which I'll do ready for the next episode, um, it just means you can lock this down and put lots of force on sort of gouging this out and hammering a gouge in without there being too many problems. Right, so there you go guys. We are all ready and marked out, uh, ready to start getting the bowls in in the next episode. Um, as I say, or as I've said before in my previous carving videos, I tend to sort of try and spread these out a little bit so that I can kind of focus enough detail on each stage of the carving in case you want to try this yourself or even if you just want to kind of get the you know the, the general idea of what it is that I'm doing and how it all works. Um, so I hope it was useful guys. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.